Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living ban list boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button. So we can climb even higher, the 1200 ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I wanted to talk about Italian Yu-Gi-Oh's ban list here. It's, uh, they, they call it a do you like FNL prediction like this. I, I, I like to think that they're not actually trying to predict what's going to happen on the ban list. This is just their thoughts on it. Um, because obviously you just look at this list already and it looks like a big old just dog turd in the middle of the floor. Um, also, I'm not hating on Italian Yu-Gi-Oh. I got nothing against them. I'm just busting their chops for this ban list here. And it gives me something to talk about because honestly, I think everybody and their mama's minds are on the ban list at this point. Because really, like I've said before, like this format is just dead. Like, yes, it's very innovative. Yes, it's very diverse, but goat format was diverse and like eventually people got bored with that format i'm sure so like we we need a change we need something to pick up around here um their reasoning for these hits is that um they didn't put anything that's going to be in the 2023 tens at least based off of the ebay leak uh if that's to be believed if that's to be true um so do keep that in mind that they're not hitting certain cards because of that i think that that just doesn't matter i mean the tens are a reprint you know, round for a reason, you know, they put the Zodiacs in one of the tens and then the Zodiacs all got hit like two weeks later. Like it was pretty comical. Um, so yeah, let, let's just dive on into this here. So right off the bat, banned Kashtira or Rise Heart. Okay. You didn't ban EEV. You put the shit to one. Uh, and you also didn't hit King Calamity and or Crimson Dragon because some people want Crimson Dragon banned. The, a Rise Heart being banned is fine, but then you also didn't hit Unicorn and Fenrir. And again, I'm not basing what I want to see hit on the ban list just based off of reprints in the tens. Because if, if you want to go off of the reprints of what's going to be in the tens most likely, then if they reprint stuff like Unicorn, Kashtira Ogre, Fenrir, stuff like that, then like Kashtira is going to go into another format basically at full power. And we know for a fact that that's just not going to happen. It's had way too much representation. Same goes for the buy steals. I personally believe uh, Magnema and or Jerusalem is going to go to one and they're probably going to be in the tens. So it's like, I, I just don't see any of that happening. So just banning a Rise Heart? No, we're, we're already off to a really bad start with this list. MX Saber Invoker, um, because it just got unbanned on Master Shits, and that's not even a good template to go off of necessarily because that game is dog water. But I mean, all jokes aside, I feel like Invoker could come back. Like, what's it going to be used in windups? Like, sure, windups are garbage without Zen Mighty to at least maybe help them do something. Aroma Seraphy Jasmine. Um... Who's playing this card in 2023? Um, is this like a Sun Avalon hit? Like, I'm genuinely confused. Like, my brain is 404 error blue screen at this point. Like, I don't know why we're hitting this card. Chaos Space to 1, I guess because Dragon Link won Worlds, so they have to hit it somehow. Because usually the deck that wins Worlds does get hit somehow. I don't really know if Chaos Space is the right hit. Like, uh, what are you really doing? <laughs> Uh, branded opening to one. Um, sure, uh, this list is terrible, so they can still just make Sanctifier and give you a gimmick puppet and just smile and put a doo-doo stain on your field. Like, th this does nothing to Branded. Sleepy Memory to one. This is fine. I mean, this is what happened in the OCG, and it does stop the purely player from being able to draw six cards on your turn, which is just toxic, especially if they draw, like, four or five hand traps. Um, so being able to basically only allow them to draw up to two is fine. Uh, but then I feel like you would need to put delicious back at three starter to one is just again, like why, like what has Sprite done this format outside of your boy playing purely Sprite? Like what has this deck really done? And then eradicator and skill drain to one. So here's the thing. Skill drain. Some people say it needs to be hit. Some people say it doesn't because we've already lost mystic mind and skill drain is a way to balance the insanely fast meta game of Yu-Gi-Oh that we have in today's modern game. The issue with skill drain though is that in an established board, something like Labyrinth, they really don't care about skill drain because their stuff activates in the hand. So in decks like that and Elder Lich by extension, even Dark Worlds to a lesser extent, like it's just a win more card for them and it just doesn't really feel all that fair. Um, I mean granted skill drain in modern Yu-Gi-Oh I feel like it's just an unfair card in general. But yet you do have ways to deal with it, whether it's Cosmic Cyclone, Twin Twister. It's not something like Eradicator that basically, actually I would say definitely, the Eradicator just can't be negated because they're just going to use it in the draw phase and beat you. And then having Eradicator at one, th this is a really weird hit to me because it's like you eliminate the ability to search it to the field off of Trap Tracks or Trap Trick 
because you don't have another copy to banish for trap tricks specifically. But yet the fact that Eradicator still exists, it just feels like a luck sack card at that point. So it's like it's like we're trying to dance around the issue. Like that's like putting Halky Fibrax at one when everybody played one. Like it just made no sense. So no, I would I like to see Skill Drain at one? Yes, but I feel like so many people that hate how fast Yu-Gi-Oh has gotten would bitch and complain about Skill Drain being at one. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of a catch-22 area. Eradicator just needs to be thrown out in the garbage. Like, no. All these other hits are pretty much, like, irrelevant. Like, other than the Sleepy, but then you gotta put Delicious at three, because then I feel like Purely just, like, can't keep up. This doesn't even mention shit like King Calamity and, like, anything else that needs to be hit. Um, so, someone told me that, like, Anti-Spell needs to be hit. I don't really know if I agree with that, because Anti-Spell is, like, it's good, but, like, if they already have the Cosmic or something, it doesn't really matter. Um, Semi-Limited, D-Shifter why <laughs> like this doesn't make any sense like what is hitting shifter from three to two really accomplish in like this format uh, even going into next format like people are still gonna play shifter it just becomes a little bit more sacky because now like you have what would the math work out to like a five to eight percent chance less chance of like opening with it in a five card hand i don't know uh to three gazelle sure salad's garbage uh, Jackalope, sure, no one cares. Ancient Fairy Dragon, sure, it got errated. Engaged a three, oh. So, I would love to see this happen, right? But I feel like if you put Engaged a three, you're gonna start seeing decks throwing in a Sky Striker sub-engine just because of the fact that triple Engage and being able to get that draw is so good. But at the same time, with Engage being a two, we didn't really see it do anything other than a going second Sky Striker sprite list at Nationals. Um, so I feel like overall this would be okay, but as a whole, this list is garbage, son. Like, this is terrible. There's no Fenrir ban. There's no Eradicator ban. There's no King Calamity ban. You've got to have Magnumut, uh, preferably Magnumut, but if they did Magnumut, Andrew Resort might be happy. You've got to have both of those at one. Like, there are so many issues, even though that this format's diverse, and this is what I was saying in my video the other day, even though that this format is so diverse, there are problems in this format that when they rear their ugly head, you're reminded of how much of a glass cannon this format is. Like, if you go into a regional or your locals, right, and, like, it's diverse, like, no one's playing Cash Tira, no one's playing Eradicator, you know, shit like that. Like, yeah, it's going to be a diverse, fun format. But if you play against stuff like Labyrinth and they hit you with Eradicator, you go against Cash Tira and they just vomit on the field, they have up all their interruptions, you're reminded of where, like, this format has gone in terms of, like, from the start to now and how we need a ban list so bad. Like, even purely, even though it's not necessarily degenerate, the fact that it has so many flex spots in its main deck that... Like, they can run six books. They can play, like, 15 hand traps if they really wanted to. Like, there's so many different ways to build purely, which makes it such a good deck. So, I feel like that this ban list, like, if we got something like this, like, you might as well take another three or four months off from the game because this would be a terrible format. I wouldn't play in this format. I would be taking a break. But, anyway, like I said, no offense to Italian Yu-Gi-Oh! I just wanted to have something to discuss because talking about ban lists is always fun and getting thoughts from the community on it. So, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.